how council manager do you have anything to add yeah i think um we're, we're kind of almost back to where we started in february when we held the uh, workshop um and at, at that work <laughs> i made a statement to councillors um that i felt that it had a poor reputation because of political infighting um, and that it had achieved very little of note since the election last may that trying to work with the council was like walking through a minefield, never knowing when the next bomb was going to go off. And that I spent an inordinate amount of my time trying to manoeuvre through this minefield. That much time and energy is spent by councillors, political manoeuvring, which is wasteful of council resources, including staff time. And that councillor behaviour is not conducive to staff attention. I also stated that this is not a game. This council is responsible for three quarters of a million pounds of annual expenditure of public money. And everything this council does should be for the benefit of the residents of Newmarket. Every councillor needs to examine their reasons for being a town councillor and if they can't honestly say that it's for, the re for that reason and that reason alone then they should seriously reconsider their position. Politics should not interfere with the decision making of the town council, it's not appropriate at the community level of local government. And rather than trying to score political points against each other or individual councillors, you need to be focusing on developing a clear plan for what the council will achieve over the remainder of the electoral term and work together to deliver on it. This can't be achieved while you're all behaving like children in the play playground. It's time to draw a line under the issues of the last few months and move forward. This was all stated before the pandemic. Since then, I have come to realise that the issue issues this council faces are caused by a small group of individuals who are so intent on their own agendas they are prepared to do just about anything to achieve them. Because I stood up to these individuals, I have been bullied, publicly and privately vilified, both in papers and on social media, had false accusations made about me. I've been libeled, suffered character defamation, been belittled and undermined at every opportunity and even written out of history. They have upset other councillors, staff and members of the public by their actions and refused to accept they have acted inappropriately. This cannot be allowed to continue especially if the town council is going to have any chance of improving its reputation and achieving great things for the town. Newmarket Town Council now has the opportunity under new leadership and with a new town clerk to move forward positively as a team, especially as it has now proven what it is capable of with its response to the pandemic. But it can only do that if those individuals who seek to use their power to influence, control, manipulate and outmaneuver are silenced and marginalised and those on the council who have much to offer are given a chance to shine and thrive under positive leadership and support. I can honestly say that the last three months of lockdown have been some of the most challenging of my life. Isolated from my family who all live the other side of the world and my son who lives in Yorkshire, I live alone and have on top of all of the other hardships of this difficult time had to deal with the most challenging behaviour from councillors that I've ever experienced in my 20 years of clerking. I leave Newmarket Town Council with mixed feelings, but overwhelming relief is the main one. I stuck it out when many others would have cracked under the pressure that I've endured because of the support of the majority of the councillors, all the staff and the members of the community that we have worked with over these past months. And because it was the right thing to do, both for the community and the Town Council. To all of you, I say thank you for your support. To the others who have behaved so abominably, please take your politics away to a bigger pond and leave Newmarket Town Council out of it and allow it to get on with its job without your petty nitpicking and time wasting. I wish you all good luck in the future. Thank you, Deborah. We do appreciate all your efforts. We have uh, struggled through the uh, coronavirus pandemic, but Newmarket has proudly uh, offered a helpline to all its residents, very much thanked to the efforts that you've made. Thank you, Deborah. The date of the next meeting is the 27th of July, and I'm closing the meeting. Thank you very much.